Hey guys, Adam Savage here in my cave with a show and tell that is all about my friends. Yes, the best kind of show and tell. Um, I am sitting here with the, uh, a casting made by Regal Robots of Phil Tippett's maquette pictured here in its original form. Uh, and this is the maquette that he made for George Lucas for the Tauntaun, for the Hoth sequence of Empire Strikes Back. Arguably the best science fiction sequence, fantasy sequence ever committed to film. The whole beginning of Empire Strikes Back. I submit it's in the top three. Uh, and a large portion of that is due to Phil's incredible work, not just with the stop motion animation, which itself is an achievement, but also in character design. Uh, Phil sculpted the tauntauns that Luke and Han and the other rebels ride around on Hoth, clearly a local creature. Um, but before he got to this, there were other tauntaun busts. There were other concept drawings. And this kind of gives a little bit of an insight into just the level of genius that Phil brings, not just, let's say, a really robust stop motion armature for animating this thing, but he can also draw all sorts of different phenotypes of what kind of animal it was going to be. And there are maquettes of some of these drawings and Regal Robots is releasing them. And that's today's show and tell. More Tauntaun faces for your enjoyment. All right. Uh, we're doing a full unboxing on this. I, uh... I love the interesting replica zone that Regal Robot has uh, has found for itself. Go Tauntaun Busts concept maquette replicas. All right. Okay. And, oh, we have a a label, always handy. And let's see what we've got here. I don't want to just pull this whole thing out at once. Oh, it seemed to be the right money. Okay. One. Two. A three. Yes, here comes the reveal. Oh, yeah, let's get them all lined up. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, and four. Dude. Oh, look at these guys. Four eyes on this one. Oh. There are so many things I want to say about this. Um, the first thing I'm going to say is... One of the more astounding things about watching Light and Magic, Lawrence Kasdan's amazing documentary about the founding of Industrial Light and Magic, is specifically Joe Johnston and Phil Tippett. These two, these two characters who are good at everything in a way that is crazy, crazy annoying as a maker, uh, and like so inspiring, right? Like, not only can Phil do the animation and get really sensitive character movement out of these agglomerations of steel and rubber, but he can also sculpt them. But not only can he also sculpt them, he can conceptualize them. And these creatures, while based in fantasy, are actually born out of a deep love of the natural world. These are based on Phil looking at hundreds and hundreds of different photos. I'm sure of every kind of creature, lizard, mammalian, what have you, looking at other fantasy uh, illustrators' executions of the same. And then 
the reason that these, I mean, I think if you look at all four of these, you'd say these all kind of work. They're all interesting animals. They all feel like something and they feel substantively different from each other. And that's one of the goals with creating a fantasy character is it has to feel like it's part of something. It's not just a thing in and of itself. It's got to speak to an entire ecosystem, an entire, uh, 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 what do you call it, a biological system that is the planet these things are from. Uh, every little, <laughs> I've often said, uh, as a model maker at and. In at an, as a model maker at Industrial Light and Magic, when I was gluing nurnies on a spaceship, little greedlies, every one of them has a purpose in my head or the aesthetics won't work. The same is true here. Every bump, wrinkle, hair, and horn on these four characters comes from some aspect of Phil thinking, yeah, this is how this would work on this planet's surface. This is how this creature might, might exist. This one has two totally different eyes. One eye flat against his skull here, and one eye is like, I don't know whether that's an infection, but dude, he should go take that, get that looked at. Meanwhile, we've got this guy who's got one eye over here, and it looks like two eyes over here. He's, I love the asymmetricality. Um, I want to just really like let it sink in how remarkable it is that the same human being that can design the armatures and animate the tauntaun running through the frozen tundra and work with a team to make that feel like it is happening in a real physical world also can design these creatures. I think this is this guy here to a certain degree. Yeah, we've got the curved horns, we've got the low mouth can also conceptualize and then sculpt and then turn that sculpt into a shooting animatable miniature. This is Soup to Nuts Genius. That's, <laughs> that is an alternate title for the Mad Dreams and Monsters, this book about Phil Tippett. <laughs> Soup to Nuts Genius. Um, these are beautiful. I also like that they are underpainted. They're not fully detailed in paint. Each one has a, what looks like a couple of washes to call out the details. But when you look at them, you definitely understand that they are maquettes. These are for discussion purposes. Uh, and man, can you imagine how great it was for George back then to be able to call upon a brain trust like this and be like, oh, I was thinking uh, <laughs> maybe this could happen. And then these guys go off and do this stuff. I know it was not an easy process. I love the degree to which Light and Magic makes it clear what a complex and difficult process it was for everybody. But frankly, when I look at things like this, I just think, man, that sounds like heaven on earth. What a, what a time, what a, what a mind. Uh, thank you to Regal Robot for sending me these uh, magnificent pieces to, uh, for me to be a steward of in this collection for a time. I still plan someday on painting this guy because just begs to be detailed. But uh, until then, these five will now live together on the same shelf. Thank you guys for joining me for this show and tell, and I will see you next time.